and I'm talking to you right now if you're watching this video and you're watching it because you don't know what you are but I want to tell you that right now you're discovering yourselves <laughs> So I'm about to take you guys on a little journey of self-discovery and talk to you guys a little bit about how I had no idea that being bisexual actually existed until about my senior year of high school. And I know you're probably judging me right now and calling me this crazy person because how did I not know? And it's a little hard to understand because I didn't grow up in a big city like a lot of people. Really I just bring it back to where I grew up, how I grew up, and just what I surrounded myself with. With. There wasn't really a lot of talk about sexuality. I knew that gay people existed and I knew that straight people existed. But being bisexual wasn't really something that anyone discussed in my family, in my friendships, at school. I never really saw it and TV shows really didn't explain it either and they still don't really explain it that much. So it's actually pretty easy for someone not to know that being bisexual exists because it's not talked about. It's not discussed in conversations. You don't get it at home. You don't get it at school. And you don't get it through the media either. When I finally discovered that I was bisexual, it was because of YouTube. And it was because people discussed what being bisexual was like for them. And it really opened my eyes to this world that I didn't know existed. So I feel like me making this video actually helps people too. I feel like YouTube is a platform where you go and you see ordinary people that you can relate to and you can take their stories and put it into your own lives. And I feel like that's what I really want to do with my channel and what I strive to do every Every single day so me telling you guys about my experience how I finally discovered that being bisexual is what I wanted to associate my life with and I feel like it's important for me to tell you that so that's what we're gonna be doing I feel like I've already done that though in this video so don't judge. I remember being in high school and just being terrified of what people would think because I was gay. I was a gay guy in a town of 2,000 people in rural Illinois where no one really accepted LGBT plus people so it was kind of scary for me and I felt terrified. I just remember really having a crush on this guy in my class and if I'm being completely honest nobody that I can think of was out. Nobody was gay, nobody was bisexual, nobody was a lesbian at my school and I was kind of terrified because I didn't want to be that guy. I didn't want to be the one who was out, so I didn't come out in high school. And I just remember sitting there thinking, damn, I'm gay. I like these guys, and I don't know how people will react. And then my senior year of high school, I remember falling for this girl, and I thought, what is going on? I thought that I only liked guys, but now I like this girl, and I don't know what that means. And I'm a senior in high school, okay? You're supposed to learn about sexualities and all these different things in health class, but by sexuality was never discussed. I can't remember one conversation where we talked about being bisexual and that kind of terrified me because I didn't know it existed and I remember sitting there thinking what am I gonna do? How am I supposed to explain this to anyone? Because this is not something that has ever been explained to me and I remember going on YouTube, going online and just looking up what does it mean when I like a girl and a guy and all these videos popped up about people talking about bisexuality and I just remember sitting there thinking I've never heard of this. Is this like some term that people just don't use? Are a lot of people bisexual or am I just different from everyone else? And I remember finally just acknowledging like, hey, there's other people that are like me. There's other people that have these same feelings for guys as they do girls and it's being bisexual. And for me, that was just this revelation that maybe I'm not so alone and maybe there's other people like me, but there's no people here. Or maybe there are, but they can't come out either. And I just remember feeling this relief like I finally found people that were like me and it was just this feeling of happiness but also fear because now I know what I am but I can't come out yet because there's no one else that's out either but maybe if I would have came out other people would have that's in the past you can't change it I just remember being so happy that I finally found something that I felt like I related to that's just one of those things where it's so sad because it took me my senior year to realize that it existed think about all those children or all those people people that are struggling right now, how they're probably looking for videos online right now thinking, what am I? And they're going to stumble across this video that I'm making, and I'm talking to you right now, and you're watching it because you don't know what you are. But I want to tell you that right now, you're discovering yourself, and it's okay. Maybe this video isn't helping you a lot. Maybe I'm not giving you what you need, but you're taking the initiative to do it for yourself and discover yourself, and I think that's amazing. You're doing something that I was terrified to do, and you're taking those steps to live 
live the life that you want to live and live the life that you deserve to live. And I want you to know that that's so courageous, that's so amazing that you're doing that, and I'm really proud of you. It's hard for a lot of people. It was hard for me, it's hard for people watching this video right now, and it's hard when you don't have a family that's supportive of you either. I feel like one of the main things is knowing that it exists, knowing that it is a valid sexuality, and that even if someone tells you that you're just going through a phase, or that you're gonna finally decide one day that you want to marry a guy or marry a girl, I want you to know that you are who you are. And if someone tells you that, you don't have to believe them. You don't have to take what they say as fact because it's not. It's their belief and their belief is theirs. It's not yours. But people do have different beliefs and you're gonna have to fight through that and know that they have the right to their beliefs but you have the right to be happy. That's one of the things that I just wanted to tell you guys in this video. A lot of people don't know it exists and that's why we gotta keep fighting. That's why we have to keep making ourselves visible to the world and that's why we have to keep taking these chances and living our lives for our authentic selves because if we don't no one else will and we just have to keep taking these chances and these opportunities to really showcase who we are what we believe and what we're doing with our lives because if we don't no one will and that's really what I wanted to say but I want to thank you all for watching me every single week I appreciate it so much I want to start doing a lot of other things too and I know I say that all the time but I just got to keep saying it because if I don't no one's gonna push me to do it so I have to push myself see you guys next time roger that